Hey everybody, this is your girl Aquarius Maximus. Uh, someone hit me up today and was like, yo, can you do a synastry on Gucci Man and Keisha? What's up with that? And um, I saw this video and I think it was Kaya and it was like word on the street that uh, Keisha, because she, she's Jamaican by the way, Keisha put some juju on Gucci Man and there's been a whole lot of talk about Gucci Man as a clone and Gucci Man, all because he went through some really dramatic transformation since he had left, uh, since he had gotten out of jail, I guess, and gotten this relationship. And it's quite clear to see, you know, the transformations that has taken place, you know, really dramatic. So anyway, we go and we look at Gucci Man's cars. Gucci Man is a king of diamonds. Uh, king of diamonds are very creative people. Um, in, and as you know, he is very creative. You'll find a lot of producers, a lot of musicians, etc. that are king of diamonds people. Anyhow, this year, um, Gucci Man was displaced in the Six of Spades. And the Six of Spades is like the card of fate, responsibility. That's that bonding, sealing, very Saturn card. Um, wanting to kind of settle down and take responsibility for your life, um, which is interesting. He has some very serious cards this year, like really, like I'm trying to be serious, I'm not playing around kind of cards. Um, but even though he was displaced in the very serious cards, his solo return card or his environment card was the Five of Clubs, which is more like the adventurer kind of thing, like a YOLO kind of card, like I'm going to do everything, anything once type, you know, whatever. So when you have that combination of that card with the Six of Spades, you have a situation to where somebody will get definitely get married that you didn't expect to get married. Now here he has this Queen of Spades, Mercury and eight of hearts and his wife Keisha is an eight of spades which makes her that queen of spades and that eight of hearts is like this really really fun whirlwind kind of loving relationship like a, you know I'm really stoked on you um type of situation so again all of his cards will kind of highlight that this is a man that's ready for some serious stuff this is a serious spread here there is no lies in this spread this spread right here speaks of I'm in love I found my soulmate, I'm having great sex, I might want to have babies, I'm willing to compromise, I'm willing to cut cut out all my old ways. That's what this spread says. So if somebody brought this to me and says, this person ready for marriage, I'll say, absolutely, they are, they are in it to win it. However, now we shoot over to the other side. So now we are looking at our girl Keisha, who is an eight of spades. Uh, very ambitious card lots of ambition um having to overcome obstacles you know many obstacles in their life to really get what they want but they certainly have the willpower to do it um looking at Keisha's cards however I, I don't see the same lovey doveyness as I see in Gucci Man. as a matter of fact what I see here is a woman who is very luxurious and um, I see a businesswoman. I see somebody who is um, very ambitious in promoting their business or, or, you know, we got two eights here. We got a lot and combined with her natal eight, that's a lot of power and strength right there. And that eight of diamonds and Mercury, that is her combination, that card with Gucci Man. That is the card of their relationship and it's in Mercury. So what that says is, Pretty much what's on her mind is luxury and fame because the Eight of Diamonds is the card of fame and fortune. You know, so how she views this relationship is that this relationship is going to be something that is going to bring her prestige, recognition, or, um, you know, a, a high profile status in society. That's what that says. That's not a real love, love kind of thing. And the Eight of Hearts is the card that we call the Playboy or Playgirl card. And she has that in Jupiter. So what that tells me is that it, with this, within this relationship, she would be doing a lot of socialite, you know, stuff. Like she will become a socialite. And that is the gift that she gets this year of becoming this high profile socialite. 
And you know, don't get me wrong. No offense, Keisha. I'm just reading the cards as I see them. I guess the one thing I'm concerned about is that Eight of Hearts and Jupiter. Because that Eight of Hearts is pretty much the only love card here. And that's the Playgirl card. And that's in Jupiter. So what that says is, yeah, I'll give you a ton of love if you give me stuff. So, you know, take away with that what you want. That's basically like, you know, if we have this really nice, high profile lifestyle, then I will be very loving. I will give you love. But what happens if something were to happen to that? You know, that's the question that you would have to ask. Um, another thing that concerns me is this seven of spades Saturn that she has. And it's funny because with the queen of spades, because the, the crazy thing is people were talking about Juju, you know, or Obia or, you know, putting a, a hex on him. And that's actually the card of hexes. So <laughs> it's in Saturn with the queen of spades. So she may have actually went to somebody to help get this marriage sealed or along um, with that placement. I would have to say, yeah. And of course, having a seven of spades and Saturn tells me that people on the outside might even suspect that. And of course, that has been suspected and people have been talking about that. They've been wondering if she put something on him to, in order to get this marriage. So, you know, I could see why because the energy is there and it just, it does kind of delineate as as such but going back to gucci's cards gucci has this six of spades saturn and i guess what you fail to realize is you know it, regardless of what it is her motivation was his motivation is for love and and really trying to settle down so you know this is what he wants you know it's it's, it's in his cards for him to have and however way she got it it may, you know, it came together and, and it's going to happen. And the fact that he got married in his Saturn period, I believe, I wish I have to check that. Yep, he got married in the Saturn period means that this union is going to yield something that he is going to never be able to get away from. And it's probably children. Um, they got married on a five of clubs day, which, by the way, is not a good day to get married on for all you future people who are trying to get married. But, you know, I'm not going to speak on that. I know what the outcome of a five of clubs marriage is. But let's just say you really don't want to get married on a five of clubs day. Um, regardless, he got married under the bond of Saturn in his Saturn period with a Saturn bond card. And he was displacing a Saturn bond. So he's got some real, real, real tight, tight karma now with this woman for the rest of his life. Um, it, it's going to go on and on and on and on, even after the relationship, even if the relationship does not last, he still is going to walk out of this relationship with something that he's never going to be able to give back. So it will likely be a child, I would hope to say. So let's look at their relationship card. Now, this is the card of their relationship. This is the card that I get when I combine two people. And this speaks about the relationship and where the relationship is going, where it came from, how it began, etc. And one of the things that you see here is that Ace of Spades Pluto at the top. And it's interesting because everybody said they talk about the transformation of Gucci Man. So that Ace of Spades speaks about the transformation of the individuals within the relationship that they will make a drastic change uh, because of this relationship. If anything, they're going to come out a changed person. So if you get in a relationship with somebody and you have an eight of diamonds combination, you are going to come out of that relationship transformed for life. Um, and hopefully, hopefully for the better. The result is the seven of hearts, and that's usually some kind of betrayal or some type of, um, you know, this is a, a an issue in which your boundaries were, were broken down by some type of uh, incident that's taken place. So what this says is that you're going to be changed for life by potentially something, you know, very damning, some betrayal or et cetera, but it's gonna, you're gonna come out of this relationship much stronger and hardened and your heart is gonna be protected. Like you're not gonna really fall for nothing after an Ada Diamonds relationship. That's the gift of an Ada Diamonds relationship. Now this relationship, you know, 
actuality, you know, a Eight of Diamonds relationship has the pro possibility of lasting, you know, for a long time and has the possibility of bringing a couple to a point where they discover divine love and, and you know, come out much more loving beings. Um, as you can see, it has a Five of Clubs Uranus and that's the day that they got married. They got married on a Five of Clubs. So what that tells me is that, you know, this relationship is bound to have some separations. But Uranus is not typically something that is like long term or lasting. This is just could be some unexpected breakups, you know, as a result of a fight or as a result of somebody's strain, etc. But just as quickly as they broke up, they could get back together. You know, this is not something that's kind of sealed in stone. Because remember, they have that six of spades and he got married with that six of spades. So it's going to take a lot to get him you know, to walk away from this relationship and just say it's done. This relationship also has a cosmic lesson of a seven diamond. So, of course, you know, there is that money issue. And there is that um, a seven diamonds is, is often uh, spoken of as either prosperity or poverty consciousness. So that poverty consciousness is balling out, spending a lot of money um, to cover up your insecurities or your um, self-esteem and value issues. And speaking of self-esteem, because this combination has a king of spades and an ace of spades, um, self-esteem issues are going to be a real huge problem with the both of them. I mean, I've heard stuff about surgery with her and then, you know, there was the whole big, you know, him getting his teeth done and all this other stuff. And interestingly, you have that king of spades, which is also the dentist. It's the cosmic surge, uh, cosmetic surgeon. So, um, again, this is how this is sets the stage for this whole self, self-esteem and value thing that goes on between both of them. So this is a relationship where both people are learning how to develop self-worth, um, and, and better self-esteem about themselves when they come together. So, you know, there are a lot of issues here, but within this spread, there's also a lot of potential for some greatness to come out of because that seven of hearts result, that could be Gucci man or her deciding that they're going to live a totally healthy lifestyle, go vegan, you know, do all kinds of stuff. Usually you see that with this combination, these two people get together and want to be healthy or want to live healthy. Then you have that three of hearts, Venus, which could be a lot of fun. It could be incidents of a lot of fun, but that three of hearts is also always involving a third party. So at one point during this relationship, there's going to be the interruption of um, or injection of some third party, somebody, and it's under Venus. So it's likely going to be a woman and she's likely going to be a Libra or a Taurus. So that's how I read these combination cards and if you're interested in getting a combination or a synastry reading visit my website www.aquariusmaximus.com click on readings and you can get a synastry reading there and you can read about your relationship and or any potential relationship you want to get into peace